So we are showing a path computation engine that sits on top of an STN controller and programs traditional MPLS style paths into an open flow network built on white box switches. Today we're using NoviFlow uh, switches, but we could use any other white box switch. We built a test network using a network simulator as well, so we can do multiple types of, of switches and we can do multiple types of services through that network. We do E-Line, E-Tree services. We can do E-Line services based on layer one pattern mat of matching, um, layer two matching, layer three matching, and layer four matching, which means we can do um, a layer two to layer four style service um, using the same service constructs for, for all types of services through an MPLS core, which is built on an open flow network. So software-defined core or Lumina SD core solution builds MPLS style services onto a software-defined core using OpenFlow switches and SDN controllers with an application on top of the SDN controller that builds the path computation for the paths but also handles the services that go over that MPLS path. It's important for, for many reasons, but um, I think the first reason is abstraction of the control plane from the physical network up into an SDM controller, which gives you infinite control over the paths and the services. It also enables the service provider to reduce the cost in the network by introducing a white box sorting path. It also introduces change into the operational groups inside the telecom industry by introducing net dev type services so they can do software defined services, um, you know, reduce the time to market for their actual services and also um, change the way they manage their networks. So using um, SD Core we can reduce the time it takes a service provider to provision a service from weeks or days to mere seconds using the, you know, the abstraction um, mechanisms that we, that we use with SD Core. Today we're looking at Lumina's Flow Manager where we build MPLS services on top of an open flow network using segment routing forwarding mechanisms. So we'll go ahead and add a path so to add a path, we go um, to add a path, we'll go add MPLS tunnel, we'll click on the source node, uh, we'll click on the destination node, uh, we'll click on add path details where we give it a name, we'll call it MPLS test. We could add waypoints if we wanted to add waypoints, we would do traffic engineering through the core, but today we'll just do a point to point service, so we'll go ahead and save that. Then we'll see that the MPLS path test is added. We can view the path as it flows through the network, so we'll Go ahead and view path, highlight the path that we want to look at, MPLS test, shows that the traffic is routed through the OpenFlow network, um, from pretty much point to point. We can also um, go and add services to this path. So this is an MPLS tunnel. So we click on paths, and we'll see that we have two paths, so MPLS test, and we have point to point segment routing path. One's an MPLS tunnel, one's a segment routing tunnel. We'll go ahead and add a service to the MPLS path, and here we could actually add a point-to-point E-Line service or an E-LAN service. We could do layer one to layer four um, uh, matching on ingress. So we could do uh, Ethernet services based on MAC address match. We could do services based on IP address match or protocol ports. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove that service we just added. So we're going to delete the path, MPLS test. And we'll go back to the network topology and we'll see that that path has been removed. So we'll go uh, click on on refresh and then view path, path to highlight and we see that path is now removed from the network and uh, that's pretty much the demonstration of path services on yes. Lumina Flow Manager.